I'm Drew Holland. I'm 20 years old, goalkeeper from Orinda, California. Well, I played basketball and swimming when I was much younger, like in elementary school days, and my oldest brother had started playing water polo, and um, so when I was in sixth grade, I just figured naturally I would give it a try. It kind of made sense and um, followed in my brother's footsteps, I guess, yeah. Someone who doesn't know it very well. Um, six on six with one goalie in each side, you have a ball and you try and score, and. You know, the biggest score wins. I just love the kind of team aspect of it, and um, being a goalie, I kind of like the, you know, the geometry of the game and kind of understanding the schemes and the strategy involved. And that's what's kind of cool about my position is that I'm kind of a general on the defensive end and have kind of, uh, you know, play a role in uh, the strategy and you know that type of the game. Honestly, as a goalie, the best advice I've ever received would be just flexibility in my hips and working on. Um, as much stretching and stretching and stretching as possible. Um, pretty into country right now, that's a new thing. Favorite Olympic memory, probably just when I was younger and watching that 2008 um, silver medal team. Um, and yeah, just seeing, watching them kind of win game after game after game and knock off Serbia and kind of have, you know, see them achieve their dreams was pretty cool. And um, I don't know, that's kind of one of the memories I have when trying to, uh, you know, become an Olympian myself has, you know, made that a goal for me. Going to the Olympics is kind of the ultimate goal in water polo as I see it and uh, would be an unbelievable experience and something that kind of all water polo players are working towards and um, yeah, I mean kind of, kind of the end goal, the supreme. Um, something people don't really know about me, uh, I'm an engineering major at uh, Stanford and can be a bit of a nerd at times. Perfect off day is resting as much as possible, eating as much as possible, and maybe getting my P-set done or whatever I have to do for schoolwork. I take off my cap in between every quarter of every game. That's probably my only ritual. I don't know why I do it, but after every quarter I take my cap off for when we're doing our sideline talk. Uh, pick up basketball probably. Hawaii for sure. Um, good piece of advice for younger players, just be in the water as much as possible. I mean, whether you're um, at practice or just getting a better feel for the water, just yeah, water time is the biggest thing.